Hey guys, what's up, Sana Chelsea? Back here again for another video, and today we're going to be talking some more transfer news. Today's transfer news is all about Papi Dilla Bodji. Now, he has left on loan to Werder Bremen at the end of the season in the Bundesliga, basically, and after playing one minute of football for Chelsea. Yes, you heard me right. One minute of football. He came on as a late substitute in September for the game away at Walsall in the League Cup. And I think it just sums up once again why our board currently are not doing what's required to buy the best players. And it's just it's just another it's just another embarrassing moment. And you know, it's 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 one of those transfers that just baffles the mind of why we went out to sign a player like Papi Dilabodji, who wasn't even apparently a Jose Mourinho signing. Jose didn't play him, was even up to a required standard that was in doubt from journalists in France who didn't rate him at all. We had very mixed reactions to actually his ability and it shows he barely even plays. So pretty much it shows you that Chelsea wasted a signing in Papi Dilabodji. Papi Dilabodji is going to go out to Werder Bremen. I can't see him ever playing for Chelsea again. And it's another one of these situations of where Chelsea's recruitment recently under Michael Emanalo just simply isn't good enough. It isn't up to the standard we require. Now you can't play Papi Dilabodji. He came to Chelsea. He fought this is a big club. I'm going to come here, maybe get an opportunity. So you can't really blame him. You've got to blame the board and the fact that they have bought a player who's barely even featured for Chelsea. And it, it just sums up that Chelsea have no long-term plans. They, it's, For me, that's the way I see it, at least. I'm looking at Chelsea currently. I'm looking at the transfer business we're doing. And I'm thinking Chelsea really aren't thinking through transfers. They aren't thinking about what's best for the club. They aren't thinking about what's best long-term and just suitable for first team. And the fact is, as you've seen, we really do have a, a lack of squad depth, which seems ridiculous for the way Chelsea uh, invest so much. And the fact we don't have really any suitable squad, basically. And people may laugh at that and go, oh, how can Chelsea say that? But the fact is, that's what it looks like to us. I don't think we have a, a good enough squad, players that can rotate, players that can come in and, and be a good enough standard. We really have lacked that. And that's probably why you're seeing the effects of last season when we won the league. You know, we really did play of a small squad. And you've seen signings like Juan Cuadrado, Baba Rahman, who now looks to be leaving Chelsea after playing barely any time for Chelsea, Radam Falco, who's been injured. And now we're going to sign Alexandro Pato, who does have an injury record. Is that going to end up the same? The constant misuse of young players, which I I've discussed so much to death on this channel. Our board do not know what they're doing and I'm sure like me, like you guys are watching here, you you share a lot of the frustration for me and it's just, it's, it's as I say, it's, it's frustrating, it's worrying, especially when we've got this massive summer coming up, which I really do think is going to be a key summer for Chelsea. They have to get it right. We're just throwing money at players that maybe will work, may not get injured and having a maybe approach to players for me just simply isn't good enough. We have to be buying players that are proven, that are a Premier League level, that are a good enough level to play for Chelsea. Really, once again, it's just a sign of a player who basically shouldn't be at Chelsea and another bad signing bar board which seems to continue so that's the that's the frustrating thing at the moment guys but guys in the comments below let me know your opinions on Papi Dilabodji what do you think went through Chelsea's heads when they signed him so thank you guys so much for watching this video you can follow me on Twitter at son of Chelsea subscribe if you are new and I'll see you again stupid fool giving me the ball oh no then the referee blows up okay, nothing much happened in that first half no oh, Zuma just I oh, just got done there Good save, Begovic, again. I think I've said that so many times this, this in this episode and this series. Try and count up the amount of times I've said that. Come on, now on the break.